Marine Corporal Umberto Sanchez was laid to rest last week. He was killed in an attack during the evacuation mission in Afghanistan. Yeah, his family told us they hoped his memory would never be forgotten. Fox 59's Courtney Spinelli shows us how the community is making sure of that tonight. I cannot be more proud of him. The community is too. At Logansport High School, dozens gathered Wednesday to honor fallen U.S. Marine Corporal Umberto Sanchez. He was just such a beautiful soul. He was a great kid and he's imprinted himself on my heart. Amy Warner was Sanchez's art teacher. She helped organize the vigil for her former student, she says was funny, with a heart of gold. I think it's really important that we continue to honor him in not only things like this, but in our own actions and what we're doing for other people. In his final moments, Bert was helping children and families. His mom recently saw a video that showed him lifting a child over the wall outside the Kabul airport. He was helping them flee to safety, saving their lives. My kid was doing something special. He gave his life for that people. So I'm not going to stop. Coral Braseno thought about the children and families at Camp Atterbury and whether any of them were helped by her son. Maybe she'd bring a photo and see if that were the case. But it hit her that wasn't what she needed to do. This was. I'm going to keep and trying to give them a better life. In partnering with Team Rubicon, Sanchez's family is collecting donations for the more than 6,000 Afghan evacuees being housed at Camp Atterbury. It's something Briseno says hits close to home for more than one reason. I came to the United States when I was 19 years old. I have one year old daughter and we came with nothing in our pockets. So for me, I know what it feels. One donation at a time. They'll continue to collect items for Afghan children and families. Bert's loved ones hope people will continue helping others, carrying forward the legacy their hero left on this world. Keep paying it forward by being good citizens, by being kind to your neighbor. Because that's how Bert's family says his memory will never be forgotten. Reporting in Logansport, Courtney Spinelli, Fox 59 News. Courtney, thank you. We are also hearing more stories of some very kind gestures in honor of Corporal Sanchez. Yeah, thousands honored the Marine last week, including 9,500 bikers who led him back to Logansport. After that procession, an act of kindness at the local McDonald's left many people speechless. A woman came in and paid for food and drinks for more than 120 bikers, adding up to more than $900 worth of food. There were a lot of people around. Um, she definitely didn't want to be noticed after she, we had just got drinks. So after she paid for our drinks, I asked her if, uh, sorry, if I could get a picture with her. And she said, I don't usually let people take my picture. And I said, that's okay, I don't either.